So as I mentioned, hint number one was that it is not the product of them. Okay? Hint number two was that I wanted you guys to factor. So the only expression up here that you guys can factor is going to be this denominator over here. So, so basically we're going to take 12 and negative 8. So what I want to try to do is determine what two numbers multiply to give you positive 12 and add to give me negative 8. Negative 6 and negative 2. So therefore, I rewrite this. Actually, I'm going to save a little work. I'm going to rewrite my denominator in the factored form. I am showing it step by step. I am just rewriting the denominator in factored form. 8 came from the middle term of your polynomial. So now the next thing is I, what we need to do is we're trying to combine these. So what I'd like you guys to see is, Mario, so you guys can determine that our LCD is equal to x minus 6 times x minus 2. Okay. The LCD is, if you guys look at, if you look at both denominators, they share x minus 2. Okay? They share x minus 2. So the only thing that they have in common is the thing that they're going to be both in common. They both have x minus 2. Now they both need x minus 2 times x minus 6 to be in common. So that's why your LCD is x minus 6 times x minus 2. All right? So yes. what All right, so now to get this to be our common denominator, I need to multiply by x minus 6 on the top and on the bottom. Now, it's also important for me to note to, note to you guys, um, we can always rewrite a subtraction problem as an addition problem. Here's one of the major mistakes that students will make. When they're subtracting, I recommend rewriting the subtraction problem as an addition problem. This is helpful when you guys are doing your work, especially when you have to distribute that. So the next thing that I do is rewrite my subtraction problem as an addition problem. All right? I, I'm literally am at the point now, guys, where I'm just going to walk around and just go through this. You should all be writing this stuff down. So now I basically can distribute my negative 3x to negative 6. So I have x minus 2 divided by x minus 6 times x minus 2 plus a negative 3x positive 18 divided by x minus 2. Or so let's rewrite it. Noah, um, please stop interrupting me. It really is annoying, OK? We don't need all that. Do you guys see now how we have two operations? Yes. I'm sorry, we have the denominators are the same. So now that we have the denominators are the same, I can just add the powers. So I'm sorry, add my numerators. So I can add the x's, and I can add the numbers. So x minus 3x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 plus 18 is a positive 16. You don't have to because the other side is already the LCD. So we don't have to do anything to it. It's already the LCD. The only side that didn't have the LCD was x minus 2. So I had to multiply it by x minus 6 so it would get to be the LCD. Does that make sense?